Muhammad's name mentioned in the gospel, and do Christians have to follow his teachings? Uh, Muhammad's name is not mentioned in, in the gospels we, as we have them now. Uh, the Quran says that Jesus had preached to his people, saying, one will come after me, Ismuhu Ahmed, whose name is Ahmed. And Ahmed in Arabic uh, comes from the same root as the word uh, Muhammad, meaning somebody who is uh, praised. And Muslims uh, think that uh, this uh, is uh, an equivalence, that when Jesus spoke of Ahmed, he was spoke, speaking about our prophet Muhammad, on whom be peace, as depicted in the Quran. Now, in the gospel, Gospels, uh, obviously Jesus has been taken as the be-all and end-all. Everything from the Old Testament was interpreted to make Jesus the be-all and end-all. So for the writers of the New Testament, there is no prophet to come after Jesus. But that doesn't mean that that was the fact, and that doesn't mean that that's what Jesus himself preached. In fact, we are finding clues in the New Testament that Jesus may have spoken about someone to come after him. We've already seen that John the Baptist was speaking about someone to come after himself, who is greater than both he and, uh, and Jesus uh, at the same time. Uh, so uh, did Jesus Jesus speak about somebody? Yes. Uh, Jesus apparently spoke about a paraclete, and uh, in Syriac, if this was written without any vowels, it would be paraclutus, or could be paraclutus, which means the same Ahmed, one who possibly is praiseworthy. But even if we take the Greek word paraclete, and uh, we analyze the statements carefully in John chapter 14, 15, and 16, it looks like this is pointing to another human being. John chapter 14, verse 26 specifically says the Holy Spirit, but that is thought by some to be a later corruption. <laughs> 